A simple mercury barometer with some trapped air in the tube is placed in an environment where the atmospheric pressure is 1001 pascals. The pressure of the trapped gas is most close to what? Well, this layout definitely looks different than what we just worked with. And they are also using the term barometer as in uh, rather than manometer. So what is that? Let's go ahead and flip back to page 104 of the NCES reference handbook. This time specifically noting the section outlining the driving formulas for a simple barometer. A barometer is a special type of mercury manometer. In this case where a, where a YouTube manometer has two limbs of the same width, circumference, radius, whatever. A barometer has one that is very wide and can be viewed more as a basin that is thinner than the limb which sits in it. By adjusting the scale on the narrow limb to start right at the level of the larger leg, then the narrow leg will actually read the atmospheric pressure acting on the wide leg corrected by the vapor pressure of the gas trapped above the mercury. So that's the general formula that you're seeing right above that image in that cutout. So back to our problem, we take our general formula for barometer. The problem is essentially asking for the vapor pressure of the air at the top of the barometer above the mercury. Writing out what we are given, we have a height of the mercury equal to 0.55 meters. We have an atmospheric pressure equal to 101 kPa or 101,000 pascals. And we are looking for the vapor pressure of the trapped gas, which is air. Now we almost have everything we need to solve this problem except for the specific weight of the mercury in the barometer. However, knowing that the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6, we can re refer back to our specific gravity versus specific weight relationship as shown. So all we need to do is set it up for specifically for mercury, rearrange to isolate the specific weight for mercury, plug in our known values. We have specific gravity of mercury equal to 13.6. We know that our specific weight of water is 98.10, which tells us that our specific weight of mercury is 133,416. So when knowing that the specific weight of mercury is 133,416, we now have everything that we need to solve this particular problem. Taking our general formula, we can throw in the information that we have as such, as you see right there. We have our atmospheric pressure defined. We have our specific weight of mercury defined. We have our height of mercury defined as well. Rearranging to isolate our vapor pressure of the trapped gas. We have that formula that you see there on your screen, which gives us a pressure of 27,621 pascals or 27.6 kilopascals. We need to make sure that we're converting all of our heights from whatever unit they are to meters. They need to be in meters. So if we just took 55 and didn't convert it to 0.55 meters, then we would have had a, an answer that was significantly off. And believe me, like I said, the NCES knows this is a very, very simple problem, a uh, simple mistake to make on the exam. So believe me that they're going to put that as an answer option. Uh, another nugget you just need to take with you into the exam. Just be confident that you, you know how to solve these problems and just take your time and you're going to be better off than that individual next to you.